All right, guys, welcome back to the shack. Tonight, I want to do a project that I tried once before and it was not a success. I started a fire in my laser and so I scratched that idea. But I've always wanted to do one and so I've just kind of been kicking the idea around in my head trying to figure out exactly how I could do it and do it safely without starting a fire. Uh, now, you may ask, what is it that I'm speaking of? And that is these little welcome mats. And you know, you see these things with like custom sayings and slogans and stuff like that on them. Uh, this thing's basically a piece of rubber that has some type of like grass or some kind of like fiber stuck to it. And trust me, it is highly flammable. It will, it will start burning and you won't even know it's burning and you'll just see a big black spot. So avoid hitting these with the laser itself. Take, take my word for it, it's, it's just not worth it. Uh, but I figured out a way that I can still use a laser and make one of these, these guys, or at least I think I can. Uh, I've come up with a plan, and if you'll stick around, I'll share that with you, and we're gonna try it and see if it works. All right guys, so I got caught up with the three stove covers I had ordered today. I got those done. Uh, the new machine is a just game changer when it comes to being able to do those things and doing them fast. Uh, also painted a couple of my nuke boxes that I made and got getting those ready for the bees to go in, trying to let the, the smell of the paint get away from them. And I had another little uh, project that I decided to do. I needed a caddy to organize these are the screws, the drills, and everything that I use for my stove covers. And I needed a place to, I had all these little buckets, but I needed a place to be able to keep this stuff together and not have to dig for the drill bits and stuff. And so that is what I come up with, guys. And uh, it holds these little uh, little plastic buckets that the screws come in. I might do this two-handed. These little buckets here, you know, when I buy my Craig screws, I wind up with a bunch of these guys laying around, so I use them for storage. But I cut my little caddy so that they sit down in the holes and they kind of act like a little caddy liner, and it's awesome. So just thought I'd share that. That's why I love lasers, guys. You can just make your own tools. But the plan for tonight, guys, and this, I don't, I don't know if this is gonna work. This may be a total disaster. It may be a mess. But I found this guy for like nine bucks at Home Depot today while I was down there picking up some stuff. And I figured, hey, I'll try it because I think I have a good, solid plan. I don't know how it's going to work out, but it's a good, solid plan. But the plan here, and I've done some minor testing just to see, is I'm going to make a stencil. And this stencil is going to have the text that I want on the rug. And then once I get that stencil made, I'm gonna put the stencil over said rug. I'm gonna use this stuff. And this is black gorilla. It's like a rubber patch seal something, but it's not paint. So it's gonna be a lot thicker. It's hopefully not gonna spread because this is individual fibers. And uh, so I did a little test just to see what the, you know, how does it, what does it turn into? And now I expedited this using the uh, heat gun, so it bubbled a little bit, but it's actually a very rubbery stuff. So looks like the stuff they use on those rugs. Um, I don't know if it's gonna have the same effect, but we'll find out enough of it or to do what I'm wanting to do. So that's the plan. I got the stencil cutting over there. As soon as the stencil gets done, I am cutting it to be basically the length of the rug so that I can get it centered and just uh, put it on there, spray it. Hopefully the stencil will allow the spray to get to the parts that I want it to get to, but not on the parts that I don't want it to get on. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll have me a cool looking rug. So waiting on the burn to finish on the stencil and uh, we'll go over that and we're gonna give this a try. All right guys, so while I wait on it to burn, I'm gonna just share with you what I had to do here. Uh, in Lightburn, I created the text and got the font that I wanted and everything, put it into workspace and converted the text. You know, normally text would be a feel, but I converted it over to a cut and then basically took 
And some of the letters, like the O, stuff like that, I didn't want that centerpiece to fall out so that I'd have to you know, try to position it myself. But I didn't want to use stencil letters because I didn't want it to look that military, you know, type. So I went with this font. And what I basically, all I did was made me a little tiny line, like a little square. And I put it to where it would connect the center part of the O. I basically put the little tabs in there for a stencil. Uh, just at the bottom of the O's and uh, for the uh, the part of the A that would fall out. And just, just took those two shapes, the letter and that little square, and basically used the Boolean to subtract that area of the the shape that is the letter to make those little tabs on there. And uh, that way I could kind of pick where I put them and, and make it look the way I wanted it to look. And then once I got that set up, uh, I'm hoping that I didn't overlook any little pieces that are going to fall out and create a problem with my stencil. But I've got the Acer cutting it out. And guys, the having the longer machine, I never knew how much of a difference it would make in what I do. And it's not for everybody. I mean, if, if you're not doing longer stuff, then, you know, I'm not saying that you should go out and get, you get yourself one. But if you are doing longer stuff, it does make life a lot easier. Uh, and this enclosure so far, uh, I'm, I'm really, really happy with the design and the way that it's working. So, all right, guys, it's coming around the bend here on the uh, last cut. And the reason I, I cut this thing to where it's the same uh, width as the rug, I couldn't quite make it the same uh, height because of the fact that the rug's 18 inches and that's just a little bit wider than what the uh, Acer will go. So I rounded it off to 17. I'm just gonna split the difference and uh, that'll give me plenty of, of coverage as far as making sure my rug doesn't get any paint anywhere I don't want it. And, uh, but that'll also uh, help me line it up, make sure it's centered. Uh, because the objective of this piece is one, to provide the holes for the paint to go through to where I can get the stencil effect, but two, to keep the rest of the rug from getting any, anything on it. Uh, I have tested the spray on this stuff and it seems pretty easy to control. So we're gonna do it inside the shop. But there's the last part of the cut. Machine's gonna go to the park location. I've got mine set up to park in that top left corner because the way the box opens, that just seems to get out of my way a little better. And there we go. Clean drop, guys. I'm telling you, I, I did break down and have to clean the Acer the other day, and uh, but it's, it's it is definitely uh, cutting like a champ now. All right, guys, this is the part where I jump in and try to help promote myself and Steve, <laughs> and get our likes on Facebook and follows and all that good thing. If you have a Facebook page, please go over and hit that like button, follow my page. I'm trying to grow it. It supports my YouTube channel by way of allowing people a way to message me directly. And I try to get back to you as quick as I can. Sometimes I'm at work or busy and can't, but uh, that's the whole goal. Also go check out our laser engraving community page. That's where me and Steve, we kind of started a page for the folks that come to the Sunday night lives to share information and uh, kind of update each other on things. And there's a lot of really knowledgeable guys in there. I mean, of course, Steve and I are in there, but we're talking about the actual knowledgeable guys, you know, the guys that watch the channel uh, that can help you answer a lot of the questions sometimes, even if me and Steve aren't around. And so we want to try to build that community and have everybody just kind of pitching in and helping each other. Uh, so if you haven't already, go check that page out on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description and uh, go give that a thumbs up and join the group. We'll approve you. And also don't forget Sunday nights, 7 p.m. Central. Uh, Steve and I will be live and doing who knows what with the uh, lasers discussion about lasers, whether, you know, me cracking on Steve, Steve cracking on me, whatever. But uh, come hang out with us Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Central. All right, about messed up, guys. I almost didn't, <laughs> didn't turn the camera off too soon. So, I'm hoping that I get the effect that I want here. Like I said, I've been trying to figure out how to make these things 
without risking fire. And I think this is gonna be the way. So, y'all ready? Go ahead and pull it up and see what it looks like. We can dry it after that. All right, let's see if we ruined the rug or, or, or if it's a success. Look at that, guys. I'm gonna call that a success. I don't know about the rest of you, but that looks pretty awesome. Uh, I'm gonna let that sit for a little while, but you know what, guys? I think I could do better. I think I could put more on there. All right, guys, rookie mistake. I just realized it when I walked away from it. Uh, apparently, when I was centering my text, I didn't center it left to right. I only centered it top to bottom on my jig. So I'm about two inches out of center. But you know what? <laughs> I was testing the theory if I could do this. So we're just going to go with it. I mean, if anybody notices, I'll just tell them it was a rookie mistake. So I decided I'm going to customize it even further. So I made me some more little uh, templates here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put me a dog. Make sure this stuff is uh, dry enough. So I'm going to put me a dog over here just to try to encompass everybody. All right, got me a dog. Of course, you got to have a cat. Cat, a little chicken. And of course a gainy. There we go. Fully customized, guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna call that a success. That was the look I've been wanting to do on one of these things. That is the method. And now all there is to do is to come up with some cool custom designs for my local area, whether it be a football team, whether it be the peach themed something or another, or whatever, and uh, make me one of those for Facebook and go ahead and start marketing those things. Uh, the, uh, the secret ingredient, and I just got lucky and it hit me, but the secret ingredient is this stuff. And if I can get it to focus on it, uh, that is best I can tell is what they use on the ones that you buy at the store or really, really similar. Uh, it's basically just a, it's not a paint. It's more like a rubber, uh, in a can, so to speak, that hardens and dries. Uh, now. Only time will tell, so I'm gonna put this thing to in, in the service and uh, we'll see how it holds up. And maybe next time that I make one, I'll remember to center both vertically and horizontally instead of just, you know, vertically. So maybe I won't have that problem next time, but check it out, guys. It's not completely dry. I'm gonna be leaving it out here in the shop tonight and letting it dry, but there you go that's it right there i mean that was the look i was going for guys and it's 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 like a rubbery coating that's on there so looks really cool and uh hopefully it won't go anywhere it says it's waterproof uh it's not paint it's more like a rubber so i'm hoping that helps but anyway guys uh, i'll put a link to this stuff in the description if you're interested uh the rugs like i said i found these guys uh at home depot and they were like nine dollars a piece so i figured you know hey what the heck i'd try it because like i said the last time i tried it i've got the rug over here by the door but it uh had a little spot that caught fire so that was a no-go with engraving it so i figured i might as well try to figure out another way of doing these things and it appears that this works so hey cool idea if you're uh, 
you know, getting ready for summertime and you want a new rug, make your own. But anyway, guys, like I said, hope this helps. Uh, gives you another idea for a project. Uh, this is a lot safer than trying to engrave these things. Uh, it, it does give off some fumes, so you might want to be outside or at least have a big door that you can open up uh, to let air in uh, just to avoid inhaling the stuff. But thanks for stopping by, and until next time, guys, be safe and have a good day.